Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. And this is my 72 Osa Pioneer. I think it's cursed. I've been throwing parts at it and it won't start. It even bit me. So today, it's gonna get real. This is a Doc Z paddock starter. It's used for starting race bikes. Now, I think Doc passed away a year or two ago, but I don't know if anyone else is making these under his name brand or not. So this Osa, I got this from a fellow I knew. I think he misrepresented it. And I've been throwing parts out of it ever since. I think it went through a number of people before I got it. I did manage to get it titled. There was some snafu with that too. Now I normally wouldn't use a paddock starter on a bike like this unless I tried everything else first. This carburetor, that's the original carburetor. It's an IRZ. It's actually got two needles on the slide and a whole bunch of jets that screw into the side of the emulsion tubes holder as well as the pilot and main jet from the bottom. All the jets were rounded out and I couldn't read them. So I couldn't replace them. I sent the whole unit over to Alex Snoop. Alex Snoop is the Osley guy from New York State. He's your go-to guy. And he breathed on the carburetor. I did a leak down test. Man, it holds six pounds in the crankcase forever. You could go out and smoke a cigarette and it would still be holding six pounds. Got 140 pounds plus compression. I have spark. I triple checked my timing. Spark was a little bit iffy. So I took the red coil off and stole my PVL coil off the Hercules. So I got nice fat spark. What else? Oh, and I disconnected the ignition switch and the kill button. And I got nothing. So now we're going to get serious. I had the pipe off because I wanted to make sure it wasn't blocked. The only thing I'm guessing now is maybe the crankcase is full of crap. gotta be sucking vacuum because I did a leak down test. Bases aren't cracked or anything like that. So here we go. One thing I learned, sorry about that noise, I'm in an industrial area. One thing I learned about these paddock starters, that foot switch, just dab it. Don't keep your foot on it forever. You'll melt the solenoids in the starter solenoid system. 
The other thing you got to do is you got to start like in third or fourth gear. These aren't really good for starting flat track bikes because without a front brake you can't hold the bike into the paddock. You almost need two people. And it's still a little awkward. And you got to sit far on the back and try to keep traction in the spool. I don't think that did anything. I'm gonna open up the air, see if we can blow any crud out. See a bunch of crap is shooting out of it. So now the real question will be, can I start it with by kicking? Well, look at all the crap that blew out of it. That's probably why I wouldn't run. Now it looks like... Oh, I gotta show you this. So on these five speed models, they lengthened the kicker so you could get a better swoop on it. But man, look at that. It's a freaking knife edge. And look how tall you gotta go. Whoever designed that, yeah, curse them. But that's what bit me. Almost maybe not like Osa's. Good.
Day one, Osa Zero. The one thing I forgot to tell you about this bike is it's not supposed to be green. And also in 72, the newer bikes had rectangular badges and three-piece fiberglass. So somebody took older fiberglass from a 175cc and put it on this bike. Now, 72 is not particularly a collectible year. It would have been orange. You can get glass. It's not worth changing. The story was the guy didn't like the color, but I bet you what happened is he looped it. I mean, that's what happens. But anyway, I thought this was a nice original bike when I got it. Still has the Spanish Pirelli in the front. I updated the back tire, it was bald and flat. But it really, it's just a bits of bike. And well, even now that it runs, something's wrong. This is return spring for the shifter. That's a, a clue you make so you can fix the return spring without splitting the cases. That's another common OSA thing. What else is weird about this bike? That's pretty much it. I put the speedometer on. I don't know if it works. It just fills the hole. It's gonna end up being a farm bike. It's titled and well, now it's running, but uh, it's not particularly a desirable piece, just a good woods bike. Thank you.